Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thine will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. All right, guys, let's see what's going on with our divine masculines. Let's see how they're feeling right now as we are watching this message, you know. Let's see, Father God, what's going on with our divine masculines, please? What do we need to know here? You got the fool. So some of them are thinking of doing something silly. <laughs> well, taking a leap of faith and it's going to be in regards to love here. <laughs> Divine masculines, forgive me, all right? I can't help it. But your masculines right now, they are thinking of doing something, you know, like you wouldn't expect, like something out of their comfort zone. Putting their trust in God and taking that leap. What else is going on? How are they feeling here? Yon, yon. <laughs> Told you. There it is. It's in regards to love. It's right there. Union. So your divine masculines right now, they are feeling this. Ooh, oh, so jolly, beautiful energy. I guess it's because of the time, right? I guess it's because of the time. Everybody wants to be close to the one that they love. They want to hear their voice. They want to see their faces. They just want to be around them. And some of them, yeah, they're taking that leap of faith. So something's coming in for some of you guys around the Christmas season. And you have the magician. So this masculine is going to try to make something work here that they thought was impossible, that they thought couldn't happen. They're ready to build this peaceful and happy life. And it is because they are taking that leap of faith. It's like right now they're in this energy of um, determination. Like, I'm going to do this, do this. I have to push through. We're going to make this. Yeah, you know, that's the energy that they're in. I can do this. Ooh, I can do this. I can do this. The Ten of Cups. This masculine is coming forward for a union. Did you see it? <laughs> oh my gosh. What this this masculine? They want this happy life, this happy home. And all these messages that are always talking about union, trust me, they never stop until the union that's supposed to happen happens. These messages won't stop until the union that is supposed to happen happens. And then we're going to start all over again, picking up different energies. But that's the way it is. If you should know, you should know. That's why we are here, right? To know. What else is going on, please? What else can you tell us about how these masculines are feeling? Release your ex, let go, move on. Okay. So there's a lot that your divine masculines are doing right now. And that's the why. That's why they can come forward to you because they're doing a lot. They're putting in a lot of work. For those who are in toxic relationships, they're releasing those people. They're letting go off of their insecurities, their past situations, all those mountains in their life. They're overcoming them, walking over them, knocking them down, and they're moving on. That's what we want, and that's what they are doing. Give me one more here, please. Woo. Traveling towards you. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Uh huh, that's what I like. That's what I like. Your divine masculines, they're taking that leap of faith, and this leap of faith right now, it's like you, you can't stop them, you can't tell them no, you can't nothing. Because one thing I'm, I'm seeing here is like they realize their mistake, they realize what has happened in their life, and they're feeling this energy of happiness, they're feeling this push, this willpower, like everything is being developed in them to keep going, keep going. Something happened that caused this shift. Always, something always happened to cause a shift. So now they are headed towards union. They're taking that leap of faith. And this person is coming towards you very, very soon. Because they're being pushed. So now they are very, very determined in making things work. Figuring things out. How is this going to happen? I don't know. But I'm determined to find out. 
<laughs> you have immature player will not commit. So they did have all sort of insecurities in the past. Maybe that's why you thought this person didn't want you around, didn't want to be with you because they had no intention of committing. This could be this person's wound where they were in this back and forth energy with you because they didn't want to commit. And it's because this person, they had this fear of losing. Always losing. People that they truly love. When they make this commitment to them, the person either end up disappointing them or the person walking away from them, something. But they were scared to lose. So they develop this immature attitude. No, 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 no. Commitment is not for me. Commitment is not for me. It's not for me. It ain't gonna happen. I'll just keep going around, going around until I feel fulfilled, which never happens. Never, ever happens. Yeah, too much drama. Not interested. Mm -mm, this is too much work. I can't do this. I won't do it. Uh-uh. I said no. <laughs> but something pushed them in the right direction. The hangman. So they have been releasing a lot. They have let go off of their past. They are moving on. They're still a little bit tangled up with that hangman. But the most important thing is that they are releasing. If they weren't releasing anything now, then that's where we would have a problem. Because they're still stuck on those things. But they're no longer stuck. They're releasing them one by one. All right, let's get some truth, please, Father God. Give us some truth on this message, please. Give us some truth here in regards to how these divine masculines are feeling. Because I love to see that they are headed towards union right now. So give us some truth on this message. Oh, it went the right place. <laughs> Forgive yourself so you can forgive me and I have, I will communicate soon. So divine feminines, your masculines right now, they, they know what the issue is with you before this union can happen. There's some sort of forgiveness that needs to happen. And this forgiveness starts within you. So you see, that's why they're telling you, you need to forgive yourself first before you're going to be able to forgive me. And that's how this communication is going to come in. That's how this union is going to happen. So whoever these masculines and feminines are, there's a big problem with forgiving. And that needs to be fixed. Seeing you everywhere. Yep, being pushed. Being pushed. Yeah, researching the connection. That's why they want to take that leap of faith. That's why they're trying to put in everything now. They're finding things out. Things are coming to light. Oh, yes, for sure. This person will return. Give me one more, please. Arguments, disagreements, separations. I got this love is fading, unrequited love. So I got two things here. First is your divine masculine that's releasing all these negative things in their life, which includes um, a relationship that they were in. And your divine masculines. Have been experiencing a lot of discomfort, which includes these arguments and separations. Because this is breaking up, right? So they're experiencing these things. And the other thing that I got is in regards to the separation between you and them. Like it's ending. The separation is ending. That's why they're going to be able to travel towards you. See, this love is fading. You have unrequited love. So they're not giving into that situation that they were putting their all or giving their all anymore. It's done. It's done. Yes. Ding, 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 ding. It's done. Ay, ay, ay. That's because my God is awesome. Yeah, yeah, he's awesome. So you got divorces, separations, and court cases. So whatever this divine masculine had that was holding them back, well, we can clearly see here for most of these divine masculines, it's someone. And they're releasing these things, not putting in the energy anymore, not putting in the effort anymore. So they are heading their own direction and that's why they can now come towards you. There was a lesson that this person needed to learn. 
there was a lesson. It seems they have learned that lesson. Love cannot be expressed in anger. Yep, they have learned that lesson. So you see, divine feminines, if they want to go and be with a karmic, let them. Because they're going to learn their lesson. They're going to see what true love is. The love they've been experiencing and getting from whoever they were with, they're going to realize that that was not love. You can't be mistreating me and say you love me. We can't be having arguments 50 million times a day and you say you love me. You can't be trying to manipulate me and you say you love me. No, 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 no. It cannot work like that. So your masculines for this energy has learned their lessons. They've learned their lessons. They're coming towards you. They're looking forward to this union. Nothing is going to stop them. This person is doing some research on your connection, on you, and they're figuring things out and they're coming towards you. This has been your message, everyone, to purchase a book or a reading. Oh, and don't forget that I have the um, How Does He or She Feel About Me on sale. It is 30 Canadian dollars, which is $22 something in U.S. Find it on my website, twindflamed.square.site. And of course, don't forget to follow me over here on YouTube with my Bath and Body channel as Sugar Scrubs. Okay, you 